American Airlines rated the worst. American requires passengers to show ID to fly, but attacks Texas's popular voter ID law. Coca-Cola is getting political, attacking Georgia's popular voting law. Why? To distract from years of dismal sales. One organization is now targeting corporations over what it calls woke political narratives. We're going to talk to the head of that group in just a minute. But first, Fox Business's Jerry Willis is here with some details for us. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jackie, that's right. They're calling it a name and shame campaign. Consumer Research, a conservative nonprofit, not affiliated, by the way, with Consumer Reports. They are outing large companies, which they say are playing woke politics to distract from poor performance, overpaying executives, even exploiting foreign labor. Listen to this ad about Nike. Congress tried to ban Nike's labor practices. Nike fought back with highly paid lobbyists. Nike, stop exploiting foreign labor. Serve your customers, not woke politicians. And it's not just Nike. The organization is also targeting American Airlines and Coca-Cola with a $7 million ad campaign that will air on cable networks and on digital platforms, plus local markets where the companies are based. Now, while Nike gets dinged for, quote, potentially using forced labor to make sneakers, by the way, that's an allegation they have denied in the past, American Airlines is criticized for shrinking legroom for passengers and laying off thousands of employees while receiving billions in taxpayer bailouts. Now, consumer research says that American Airlines CEO Doug Parker's criticism of a Texas law to require voter ID was really a move just to distract from that performance. And its ad against Coca-Cola criticizes CEO James Quincy for attacking Georgia's voting law. And as I send it back to you, I'll just say we reached out to all three companies uh, got a response, a fresh response, that is, from Coca-Cola, which said this, we respect everyone's right to raise their concerns, but we also believe the best way to make progress now is for all of us to come together and listen respectfully. Jackie, back mm. to you. Jerry Willis, thank you so much for that. Let's bring in the man behind the ad campaign, Consumers Research Executive Director Will Hild. Will, uh, good to be with you this afternoon. Um, you know, it seems to me what this ad is doing is essentially calling these corporations out for hypocrisy. Well, it's more than just that. We're excited to announce the Consumers First Initiative, which is a seven-figure ongoing campaign that puts corporations on notice. They're not going to be able to distract from their failures and bad business practices and their mistreatment of consumers by, by cozying up to woke politicians. They need to focus on serving their consumers. Hmm. And that is really important. But we've seen this um, not just with corporations. You know, we were talking about it yesterday with athletes, for example. It's a very tough line uh, to decide whether you should serve and cater to a certain audience who does say, say it's the millennials, the younger population who do want to hear about your political views and your affiliations and where you stand on issues. And and then you've got um, the, the older part of the population that says, I don't really want to know about that. I just want to watch you play a sport or I want to buy a product or whatever the case may be without you getting into the fray. Well, the truth is they're not serving their c c customers. Take AA, American Airlines, for example. They were rated the worst airline last year by Wall Street Journal. Uh, they lose more bags than any other airline. They kick more people off flights than any other airline. We were able to confirm, we reached out to them, and they confirmed to us that during the COVID pandemic, they continued to decrease legroom on many of their flights. And this is, of course, at a time when they took a multi-billion dollar bailout from the American taxpayer, and their CEO, Doug Parker, still was paid an eight-figure paycheck last year. And this is all to distract from, from those things. Hmm. And, and they need to focus on serving their consumers, not woke politicians. Do you think calling them out in this way um, you know, it will have an impact, that it will be enough, or that more um, organizations, more people have to jump on the bandwagon to put this kind of pressure in place? We certainly hope that people that are upset at their mistreatment of their customers and the problems within their business model will also uh, raise their voices. But um, this is going to be an ongoing campaign. We're not going to stop any corporation that thinks that they're going to be able to distract from bad business practices, from taking taxpayer money and funneling it to their CEO through big paychecks is now on notice. It's not going to work anymore. Yeah, and I think, you know, there have been uh, many um, people out there, consumers out there. As I said, it's, it's sort of fragmented and it's segmented by parts of the population. But there are a lot of people who have expressed extreme distaste for this, yet the corporations still keep doing it. 
Well, they would rather uh, have news stories about the distaste of consumers for them going political than actually answer how they're going to you know, pay taxpayers back for that big bailout, why their CEO, Doug Parker, took an eight-figure paycheck the same year that the, the, the uh, airline almost went bankrupt. When are they going to give them their leg room back? Th these are not questions they want to have to answer. And so they would rather uh, weigh in on, on legislative and political subjects that they know nothing about that are not germane to their business than have to answer these questions. Hmm, interesting. Gives you uh, a lot of food for thought there. Um, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me.